Okay, so here's a quick update on the War Machine helmet I've been working on. As you can see over here on the side, we have the original one, and then the one I'm, I'm working on right now. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty close to being done on that side there. Um, all details been worked out. I still got to finish the jaw. As you can see, it's missing right here. Um, and then uh, straightening up some of the lines in between here. Uh, this one has, kind of seems to be bowing out a little more. Um, so, but anyways, there's small little issues that you're still needs to be done. You need to straighten up the lines between the face plate uh, and then the jaw. So, basically, how this helmet was done here uh, was I took one of these originally, cut the jaw off right here, cut it down the center here along the back, and then uh, widened it up probably by about a half an inch or so. Um, and then uh, put it all back together. As you can see, the dimensions are the same, it uses the same ears. Um, on both of these here, uh, the sides meet up. The uh, the jaws are the same. Uh, this this helmet here I I did differently. The uh, the face plate comes off. The jaws um, a separate piece, and then the top is a separate piece. Um, the top is actually exactly the same as the old one. See where the registration lines are kind of changing a little bit, but uh, and where the, the the bumps are in the the mohawk uh, but it's all the same uh, just happened to s widen the thing up so um, also it gives you, gives you a little more uh, detail between here when you can remove that piece to, to work on it so but anyways that's the update on the war machine helmet um, pretty soon I'll be doing one on uh, the lighting for the eyes um, using LEDs and diffusing properly and whatnot so you don't get hot spots and then uh, also I'll be doing a a tutorial on hinge systems uh, at least the two that I'm aware of and, and that have worked on my helmets so anyways uh, stay stay tuned guys uh, subscribe uh, and I'll keep you updated on it thanks